this is a chug back plate for a Harrison lathe. You can see it's a, a lot bigger than my box pad. Uh, friends asked us to duplicate that actual newers off his Harrison to screw into there so he can make a collar to allow with it. Uh, I've took some, some measurements off his off his lathe. It's a uh, um, six thirds of the inch Whitworth foam thread. The register's two and a quarter. I've got a bit of metal here. I'm sure there's a, a one of them living inside there somewhere. I'm using the four jaw chuck because it's a lot stronger and the three jaw chuck gets a much better hold. This bit of steel looks rough and dirty, it's actually real good quality material. I've made one or two items out of it, I've made coloured chucks for my with it. It's very tough, it machines very nicely. First thing to do is get it running run through. These are two chuck keys at first till you get it till you get it somewhere near. It's not bad there. Just nip each jaw and turn, make sure I have a, a good hold of it. I'll have to machine up the centre in the centre in the out of this sticking out rather long way. First thing we'll do is square this end up, drill it and put a centre in. Right, first thing we'll skim the end. You need a bit of weight on it, but not, not too much, you can, you can feel it. Right, next thing is to take this down to two and a quarter inch, which is down out of the spigot. Right, the bar is three inch and we want it down to two and a quarter. So it's three quarter inch to come off it, 750 thou, 325 a side. What I've done, I put a, a rough and tool in, I'll run the lathe back here, uh, put some cooling water on and take a proper cut. Get me at the size now within 20 25 thou. So, what I'm doing, I'm trying to see what sort of finish I can get with different speeds and feeds. I'm going to watch this for temperature as well, because the temperature makes a big difference. 
to the finished dimension. There's four thou to come off that. What I'll do, I'll speed the lathe up and I'll do another pass on the same setting. It's not taking much off when it is cutting. I'm just going to put a, a light foot on that face now. I've locked the cross light off. Right. It's probably three tenths over two and a quarter now. That's that's all but on. It is very, very slightly warm to the touch. What I'll do, I'll put the kettle on, I'll let that cool off, and we'll try it again. Right now, it's cooled down to room temperature. Right, that's what we're looking for. Now all I did there was let that cool down from being lukewarm to being strewn cooled and you saw the difference in the fit. That's an excellent fit that. Just feel it, it's just gripping nice. Right, happy with that. Next job we to put a recess in, turn some threads. Right, the next thing I'm going to put in is a groove in there, the grooves for the thread cutting tool to drop into. I will measure the, the spindle on my mate's lathe and the groove starts 650 thou from that face and it's 200 thou wide. I know what the dimension of the inside of it is. So what I've done, I've zeroed my travel gauge there, so if I wind that in, wind this out for 650, I can measure it accurately off there. One, two, three, six, fifty. Right, I'll lock the carriage off at that. I want the other one nice and slow. Plenty of rubber again down to cut this groove. I also know that that cutter is 120 thou wide. So if we advance it this way, 80 thou, that's going to give her what groove to the correct the correct width of 200 right this groove needs to be 105 thou deep 105 thou aside and back yeah see it right down Right, the next dimension is the damper of that. It needs to be two point two and a quarter, which is two two five over. It needs to be two two twenty or thirty thou, fifteen thou side off that. I 
got the compound set to 45 degrees. All I want to do is put a nice, a nice chamfer on the end of the, on the end of it. Put a chamfer on here as well. Just break the edge. Right, so that's all of our dimensions machine now. Uh oh, now is a thread putting on there. The thread pitch is six threads to the inch. So we'll set the gearbox up, set the tool up, then cut the thread.